Hello, my name is Vindimus, and today we're going to be doing, let's see, we're going to be learning about how to use a CSS class to style an element. There is a link in the description down below if you want to follow along. Let's begin. Also, side note, I already went through this and I lost the recording, so this is my second time through this. Still, there's nothing wrong with that. Classes are reusable styles. They can be added to HTML elements. Here's an example, CSS class declaration. So the dot blue dash text is being declared here and the color is going to be blue. You can see that we've created a CSS class called blue text within the style tag. You can apply a class to an HTML element like this in line with the H2 opening class equals quotes blue dash text. Note that in your CSS style element class names start with a period. That's up here when you declare it. In your HTML elements class attribute the class name does not include a period. Now that's that's down here when you're gonna use it you don't use a period on blue text but when you declare it you do use a period up here. Inside your style element change the h2 selector to dot red text and update the colors value from blue to red. Give your h2 element the class attribute with a value of red dash text. So, um, hmm. okay, so last time I did this, well, we'll just go through the bullet points here for the challenge. Here are your objectives. Your h2 element should be red. So I'm just going to change this to red. Your h2 element should have the class red dash text. So Okay, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to call the class right here class equals red dash text and nothing's going to happen. Well, I mean, wait, hold on. I mean, yeah, something, okay. Red dash text. Of course it's going to change. It's already up here h2 equals that, but they want in your objectives they want you to declare red dash text class so in order to do that declaration you're gonna put the period and then just put red dash text and that that declared it right there so here's your example up here Bl dot blue dash text we have dot red dash text and then color blue we have color red so my understanding is that because we put red dash text now we can put red dash text anywhere if you just had the h2 here my understanding is that you wouldn't be able to change anything else other than h2s so we're going to try this out. So if class equals red dash text down here, you're going to see it turns red, correct? But what happens if we change this back to an H2? This is a test for me because I'm not exactly sure. See, this is the problem that I had before. I didn't really elaborate on it much, but I will tell you. In the style declaration here, if you just have H2, then this only applies to H2s. And so here you can see the H2 for cat photo app. And then down here you can see uh, things cats love, your class red text ain't working. And it's not working because 
if you see down here, uh, if you just have a style color red, you, you can do this anywhere already. What we're trying to do is we're trying to eliminate how much code you, you actually need to use. So instead of writing up here or anywhere, if you, if you just type here style equals and then you put color red anything will change to red that way so what we're trying to do is eliminate style and we're trying to only use the class so we want to call class and then we want to call in red text to make your code more readable and easier to understand when people go through it and more uniform and less coding to, I mean but is it less coding though here's where we're I'm going off on a tangent again I did this on the first video style five letters class five letters equals color I mean it's arguably one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight I mean one letter less I don't know maybe it just allows you to create classes and understand how they're used so let's get this class to work in order to get the class to work we got to get rid of this h2 up here and that needs to be dot red dash text because we're declaring it now that you did that anywhere in the code where you just add this in class equals it's going to change everything there to red well, let me undo that you have to put a space here sorry and any opening tag you can just get in there so that's pretty cool I mean maybe I didn't do it <laughs> as good as I did on the first video but I'll just double check the objectives again I might have explained this uh, this is just my, remember this is just my understanding of what is trying to be taught here and I could be incorrect because I am self-taught and I'm just learning on the fly but your h2 element should be red h2 elements here it is red and you can see it here Your H2 element should have the class red text. So we have class red text. We have that. Your style sheet should declare a red text class. Red text. And have its color set to red. Color red. You should not use inline style declarations like style equals color red in your H2 element. So they do not want you using this anywhere. They want you using your class. Okay, so we'll run the test here. And it's a flawless victory. So finish him, right? Go ahead and bust out with the combo finishing move real quick. Thank you guys for watching and uh, <laughs> uh, good job learning the CSS ways and we will continue this journey. I'm going to take us to the outro and hopefully not lose this video like I did last time. Funny story which I'll tell you after the outro and it has to deal with losing videos. Okay, thank you for watching. If you feel this video was helpful or you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, post them down in the comments below. I am Findamis. I will see you later. I hope everybody has a great day. Right? And cut. Bonus scenes. Bonus material. So I have um, XSplit, which is great. And I have the Lifetime license, which I bought years ago. Like four or five years ago. Love it. It's like a hundred bucks. I highly recommend it. So I'm recording my content. And I have a hotkey. My hotkey is like Alt Q, and then it starts recording, which is great. 
And then when I finished last time, I pushed Alt Q, Alt Q, like real quick, real quick, within a second. So it like stopped and started recording right away. And so I think what happened is because the file was not finished like compiling and stuff, it was like a nine minute video, it just completely disappeared. So when I went to go look at the folder where the video is, there was like a five second video. Cause I go, oh, I'll like, I hit it, hockey, hockey. And I go, oh, I accidentally started another recording. Let me stop that. So I hit stopped after like three, four seconds. And I lost it all. This is crazy computer stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna take it nice and slow. I'm not even gonna use the hotkey <laughs> to end this recording. I'm actually just gonna use the mouse. And uh, that was the bonus. Hopefully you learned something else additional on top of the, the CSS stuff. And it's a personal note for me, I guess. So I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.